as I've explained in my post, um, I plan on showing you how to use the cut profile tool as it applies to walls. So I'm going to begin by drawing um, the host wall of which I spoke about or wrote about for that matter. This is my host wall and we need to put in some glazing inside of that. This is only an example. This can be used for any two walls that need to be placed within each other. Um, for clarity, I chose to discuss glazing inside of a wall because that's a highly practical example. So here's our glazing. I'm going to draw it inside of this wall here. And at this point, previously, before I knew about this tool, I would then proceed to cut the profile sketch out of this wall here, which would then leave a void for this wall here, this curtain wall. So rather than doing that, we're going to use this cut geometry tool. Don't need to save it. And then just cut this wall right out of it. And as you can see, this is handy because if I move this wall in any direction, the curtain wall that's embedded within it chooses to remain with its host wall. Um, also, if we look at it in 3D and we change the size of the curtain system, let's say we bring that down, the wall surrounding it encloses that gap that was created. Um, we can also edit the profile sketch of our glazing if we wanted to get fancy. Let's say we wanted to do a curvy line in the corner here. You'll see that the wall also fills in that void. So this is a very handy tool that uh, should not be overlooked. Um, it'll save a lot of time and a lot of headache later. Thank you.